Go, go, go! <laughs> Is that pretty awesome? In this video, I'll show you how to make a mini pipe that can be used and stored just about anywhere. We have a fully functional garage, even with the mini pipe. Don't listen to anyone who says you don't have space for a mini pipe. The tools I used for this project were a drill driver with bits, speed square, pencil, clamps, tape measure, jigsaw, drill bits, a knife, circular saw, a chalk line, a grinder with a metal grinding wheel, ear and eye protection, of course, a framing square. You will use a minimum two and a half inch screws and one and a quarter inch screws. The material list for each ramp is one sheet of 5 8 inch plywood, two sheets of 3 8 inch plywood, one quarter inch sheet of hardboard or masonite, one 2 inch ABS drain pipe 8 feet long, and 11 2x4s 8 feet long. To make the ramp sides, begin by lining up a sheet of 5 8 inch plywood with another sheet of plywood. Use a 2x4 to make the transition curve of the quarter pipe. Measure 66 inches from one end and drive a long screw partially into the 2x4 at this point. Make a mark along the long side of the plywood that you're not cutting at 20 and 7 8 inches and another mark 66 inches along the short sides of the sheets. Use your square to find the point where these two measurements intersect. This is the point where you will drive your screw to pivot the 2x4. Using a pencil, hold it at the end of the 2x4 and scribe the transition curve. This is way easier than trying to use a string. Measure along the short side of the plywood you just marked to 23 and a quarter inches. Using your square, draw a line that intersects the curve you just drew. This is the shape of your ramp. Repeat this process for the other side of the ramp, paying attention to the orientation of the cuts. Using four 2x4s to elevate my plywood off the floor to cut the plywood, I decided to sandwich the two sheets of 5 8 plywood to speed up the process. I'm making two ramps, so I need two sheets, one sheet for each ramp. I held the sheets together with clamps so they didn't move apart. Using a jigsaw to make the curve cuts, follow the line as best you can. This doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Most mistakes will be forgiven when the ramp is put together. Follow the curved line to the line that intersects it. With a circular saw or your jigsaw, make this straight cut. Notice the shape of my leftover material. I messed up. Follow the plans more closely to save time later. Measure along the bottom edge of the ramp to 61 and a quarter inches. Cut the end of the ramp square at this point using your circular saw or even your jigsaw. Do this for all four of your ramp sides. To accommodate the coping, you will need to notch the side of your ramps as well. Measure two feet along the top and one and a quarter inches down. Cut this notch out with a jigsaw. Again, do this for all four sides. You're gonna need to trim your two by four pieces. For the full eight foot ramp, I trimmed one and a quarter inches off each board. For the ramp that fits inside this ramp, I trimmed three inches off each two by four. I made the cuts using a miter saw, but you could use either a jigsaw or even your circular saw for this. The two by fours will be spaced every eight inches along the ramp sides. Measure along the curve and make a mark at every eight inches. Putting the ramp together would be a lot easier with a helping hand. Start by securing a 2x4 to the bottom back corner of your ramp side with two long screws. Then move over to the other side and secure with two more long screws. Secure a 2x4 at the front of the ramp. This will hold your ramp together and make it easier to screw the rest of the boards in place. Drive a screw part way into the sides at each of the marks you made previously. This will make the process of screwing the boards in place much easier. Starting up the top, line up the top 2x4 with its mark and drive in a screw on both sides. Having the screw already in place really cuts down the frustration of holding the board and trying to screw it in place. Move down the ramp, screwing the boards into both sides. Pay attention to the orientation of the 2x4. Notice the top and bottom boards are on their short side and the rest are oriented with their long sides perpendicular to the ramp curve. Be sure to go back and screw in a second screw to each end of the 2x4s. The process for the flat section of the ramp is very similar. All of these 2x4s will be oriented standing up. Again, it's a lot easier with a friend. If you're building two ramps to make a mini pipe, simply repeat this process for the second ramp. 
Notice how the shorter ramp fits inside the longer ramp and really cuts down on storage space requirements. For the coping, I used a two inch ABS drain pipe. It's not as durable as steel obviously, but it's much easier to find and way easier to work with. Clamp the coping into place and cut it to length. Mark three inches from each end and every 24 inches along the coping. Pre-drill all the way through both sides of the coping. Using a 3 8 inch drill bit, drill a hole through one wall of the coping so you can screw the coping in place. Do this at each mark you made. Place a sheet of 3 8 inch plywood on your ramp. I found it easier to secure the top corner of the plywood with a screw and then line up the other side of the plywood with the coping and secure that with the screw. Using one and a quarter inch screws now, working from the top to the bottom, screw the sides of the ramp down using the screw holes along the side of the outside of the ramp as a guide to help you screw in the two by fours. With your chalk line, line up the screws on the top and snap a line. Now you can screw along this line ensuring you will hit a two by four with every screw. I worked from the top of the middle, then from the middle out, screwing along the chalk line. Be sure to countersink your screw heads so they don't stick up and mess up the feel of your ramp. Also, be sure not to drive them too deep. Place your second sheet of 3 8 inch plywood on top and repeat this process. If you want your ramp to last and feel solid, don't skimp on the second sheet of plywood. Also, it's important to use two sheets of 3 8 inch plywood and not two sheets of half inch plywood, as 3 8 bends much more easily. For the top sheet, I used a quarter inch thick sheet of hardboard. When you screw this sheet down, you want to miss the 2x4s to prevent the possibility of hitting a screw below, which will really mess up your hardboard. I also screwed about every foot along the bottom of the ramp. These screws stuck out the bottom, so I took the sharp points off with a grinder to prevent injury while moving the ramps around later. Because one of the ramps is one and three quarter inches narrower than the other, I had to trim the excess. I drew a line and then cut it away with my circular saw. For the flat sections of the ramp, use the offcuts of the 5 8 inch plywood. Remember I said pay attention to the orientation on the plans? I didn't, and it created way more work for me because I had to cut these pieces to fit. Simply screw the plywood down to the 2x4s about every foot or so. The chalk line trick comes in handy at this point as well. I wanted to be able to move these ramps around, and I underestimated just how heavy they were going to be. I decided to add casters to make them easier to move around. To do this, I removed the 2x4 from the lower back corner of the ramps and cut a 5 inch 45 degree chamfer on the back corner of each side of the ramps. On the smaller ramp, I replaced the 2x4 to secure the casters to. These were the casters I used. For the longer ramp, I had to secure the casters to a block of wood on the outside of the ramp. This really makes moving the ramp around much easier. So if someone says you don't have space for a mini ramp, show them this video. Like I said, we still have space in our garage for two cars and all of our stuff. I made these ramps for my son and he loves them. It took me way longer to make this video than it did for me to actually make the ramps. It probably took me maybe four hours to make these ramps. They're really easy to do. Pretty much anybody can do it with the right tools. If you like this video, come on, give me a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, let me know what you liked about the video, let me know how I could improve. Anyhow, this is the How To Dad. Thanks for watching.